You know, so I can't believe we're almost at the end of 2022. And, uh, you know, I'm very grateful, the Leafs team as a whole, we had a great year. And I'm actually excited to be speaking at my very first panel today. We're gonna to be sharing with uh, some of the N100, which is some you know agents that are trying to break into the top 100. And I'm just gonna be sharing some of my experiences and knowledge, uh, especially in a shifting market. So we'll see you there. We're out here in Rancho Santa Margarita today. We have some of us on the top 100 that are speaking to the next wave, hoping to join the T100. Let's listen along. I've been about six years licensed. Um, I come from a family. My dad's been an agent for about 35 years, so it was a huge blessing with that um, background and whatnot. Um, but b before that, I did art and marketing um, for an art and apparel brand. So my background, again, was in marketing, communications, event planning, stuff like that. So we have a little boutique team of four. It's me, my father, and Jeff and Will. Um, we have a big banner that says the Leeds team. So if we're showing clients around in our little downtown San Clemente area, uh, it's really nice. We show them the lifestyle. You know, you can ride in a golf cart down to the pier, grab a beer, whatever you want to do. I honestly think that we live in a culture where we, you know, really care about the other people's opinions of us way too much. <laughs> so I think it's a matter of staying in our lane and just focusing on our business and not really caring about what anybody else is doing, um, first and foremost. But besides that, I honestly think it's just surrounding yourself with good people, making sure that outside of real estate, you have somebody to kind of use as a sounding board. Uh, for me, that's my wife. Uh, to her credit, she helps me out a lot more than I tell her she does. <laughs> it sounds a little cliche, but I would just say make sure that you're showing up and actually like ready to work. Um, show up, I mean, I, I answer emails every day, but don't just show up, like follow up and follow through, do what you're actually gonna say you're gonna do, because people remember that. And we live in a business where a lot of agents are known as like the, you know, that sleazy used car salesman or something like that, because they, they don't live up to what they're actually selling or like what they're doing. So again, yeah, just follow up, follow through. But again, also in, in your marketing, not necessarily just being authentic, make sure that you're differentiating yourself and try to come to a new angle, whether again, it's bowling or, you know, you know, using bowling in order to kind of market real estate, make, I mean, combine it all. You know, you don't have to have your, your personal life, your business separate. I try to blur the lines as much as I can because it makes working a lot easier and a lot more fun at the same time. I think it's, again, it's surrounding yourself with really good people, good community and remembering that we're also human. So if you do screw up, just own up to it and, you know, let it flow off you. Um, we live in a business again, that's, if you're not selling, then you're not stressed. And I don't know, I, I would say that every transaction is different and wears a different hat. Uh, but at the same time, you gotta just be very flexible and adapt to the situations. Um, but again, making sure that you just keep that, you know, you can do it, like you just persevere in the hard times. I mean, Nikki knows we've had a few really tough transactions this year where we called her way too many times. Other ones that were really easy, you know? I mean, again, it's just the nature of the business. If you're not selling, you're, you're not gonna have those situations. But again, we're all here because we love it. And, we need to sell in order to make a living too, so. You know, so we're just leaving the RSM office, um, the T100 panel, and we also had a debrief of the market with Stephen Thomas. He gave us the forecast for the start of next year, and it was, uh, it was pretty similar to kind of what Jeff and I and the rest of the team have been you know, thinking and hearing from other reports and whatnot. And it's this idea that sellers really are going to be have to, or sellers are going to have to be very, you know, um, specific with their pricing and it's realistic. Um, he used this term, I thought it was really good. They, there's no, the arbitrary pricing is dead or it was the death of arbitrary pricing. This idea that sellers can come up with a number for any, you know, the, the way they want to list their house and that they'll get their number. You know, we have to use past comps and really do our research um, before we actually bring something to market. And buyers are going to have to be, uh, you know, comfortable with their payments and also think outside of the box and be creative with how they're choosing to finance these deals, whether it's an arm, whether it's um, asking a seller to buy down their interest rate, or you're asking for more closing costs. Uh, at the end of the day, people are going to be moving. And I think that, you know, as long as a buyer is comfortable with the payment, things are still gonna move. So I'm very optimistic heading into next year.